I am your host, Dimpo Mohale, the show that speaks about health, education, entrepreneurship, and so, so much more. On today's episode, it's very interesting. You can see I'm wearing different attire. You can see I'm bright and colorful with the red lipstick. Yes, we're speaking about culture and heritage as we are logging into Heritage Month this September. Today on our show, we have interesting guests and their names are Sangisani and Langutani. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes, for sure. Let's welcome them on the show. How are you guys doing? And interestingly enough, your outfits are so colorful. I want to know what is the inspiration behind these beautiful designs. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just trying to show people that this is my culture. That's mm-hmm. how you're supposed to look when you're a Tsonga. So, it showed us I'm very proud of my Tsonga culture. Yes. It's a very good culture. I want to give it to you so that color block. I want to go to Tsonga. And for you? And me, I'm going to go to Tsonga. 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 So please introduce ourselves to our viewers at home watching. Who are you? Oh, since I'm her sister, yes. she'll start first. All right, all right. <laughs> oh my God. I hear Ilang Tanwar Kotuma Barla Makulan Konza Kanjako Oma Ibuku Pane Katanga Timukutu, what the people in Yamator Bengo Navan, Tombio Shamba Masi Basapa. Gomu Nzamilo, Summer Africa, in which you got the poet of Timber Africa, Shai San, one of Makosani, one to 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 one that is so beautiful. That's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. So can you each introduce yourself, who you are to our viewers as individuals, and what inspired you to get into your industries that you are in now? Okay. Uh, now, Michelle, we're that if you are star folks talk. I am a poet. 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 I am a I am a I am a poet. I am a poet. I am a I am I am a I am a I am I am I am I am I am I am I when I'm doing my job as an electrician, yeah. or when I'm just going without wearing my regalia shibelani. Yeah. So I got into art industry. Actually, I'm inspired by uh, T.P. Magaisa, mm-hmm. Dr. Frederick Hotso, Kokwani Ngetenge, Ngoveni, a lot, a yeah. lot, a lot. Uh, when I started my journey of writing or acting, mm-hmm. I wasn't sure that one day <laughs> I will be traveling the world. Yeah. It's by God's grace. Because mm-hmm. um, yeah. I lost my job in 2020. Mm-hmm. I'm a qualified electrician. I was working as a maintenance electrician. Mm-hmm. So due to COVID-19, my contract, boom. Yeah. I should reveal the, 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 the talent that was hidden on me. Because mm-hmm. since 2020 until today, I'm very beautiful. I don't remember a day sleeping without eating. Yeah. So this industry art, this poetry thing, every day it puts food for me on the table, yeah. even for my son. So that's how I started my uh, my poetry or writing or acting. Yeah. I just found myself doing this. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> One day yeah. I will tell a story how, like, I'm even surprised because a lot of young people, mm-hmm. they, they're crying outside saying that there's no jobs, no jobs. Mm-hmm. But me, nah, I can say that I'm blessed because... Like, when I, I got a gig, I know that maybe plus or minus 10,000 mm-hmm. is in my pocket. That's my pay slip, you understand? So, yeah, that's how I discover myself that I'm a poet after COVID-19. Mm-hmm. Actually, I can say thank you so much, COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> so, Langutani, please tell us about your story. Oh, my story, actually, let me say my journey of being a poet mm-hmm. um, It started after I am a survivor of a gender-based violence in mm-hmm. uh, 2016. So I was going through a lot of trauma. I didn't know whether I should go see therapist since I was young. I didn't mm-hmm. have a support. So what happened, I took a pen and a paper midnight, and I wrote what I was going through. 
My first poem was saying, alone in the darkness, sitting mm. there in the darkest corner, no one to talk to, pretend yeah. away my time, I'm willful, my face is went. I was actually writing everything that I was going through. Mm. So that's how I discovered that I am a poet. And going through what you guys have been through, um, was it because of your situation or were you taught this in school and then you were like, hi, man, I can actually do this. And now you actually realize you're sitting here on the book talks. Uh, because mm-hmm. uh, as I've said that I'm a qualified electrician, if you can check <laughs> Electricity and <laughs> art industry, <laughs> two different <laughs> things. You said. So, so it's a talent. Mm-hmm. Imagine you met a hand at the age of 30. Although, when I tell them my age, about mm-hmm. <laughs> for me, look, it's my age. Yeah, they yeah, think yeah. maybe I'm 2000, you understand, but yeah. oh, I'm a 90. So, it's in you, like, I'm going to school. Through the chain, as I've said, that I started it in 2020. Mm-hmm. Eh? So it's just a talent that came out. And for you, Lani? Tani, look, I'm going to go to college. 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 I wrote this poem, and they were like, no, man, there's a talent inside of you. Mm-hmm. And Ilesu mm-hmm. sungan encourage akure na kulandele la nyikoli wa ilesu sungan la kusenia na dondela ne ba students ya language practice na tani University of Technology kuyisa kuta kusa nyiko ya mi. And how has your career, especially as a language practitioner, enhanced your performances? Can pardon please. How has how has your um, you being a language practitioner, mm. like, m- made you better as a performer? Oh, um, I should go and buy Dundisa, the Matalelo, La Manene, Logonzala poem, Fanny Stakuri poem, Mamina Nizar Sakuin, Nifane Nefem Lagui, Logon Kansala poem, which we call it structuralism, a language practitioner, a language practitioner. So, in the last year, I was going to say, okay, I know that I was going to be able to perform it. I was going to be able to perform it. I was going to be able to perform it. And through that, um, who um, mentored you through this journey? Did you receive any mentorship through this journey? Okay, uh, my mentor <laughs> is my mother. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I say this because I, I grew up in a very bad background, you know. Mm. Uh, I grew up knowing that my dad is still alive, not mm. knowing that he passed on when I was, I think I was three months. Yeah. So my mother is a hard worker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so when inspire every day, Gore, she used to, to sell him mm. to put food on the table for us and my, mm. my siblings. So she inspire her. Even if you, you are educated, you see how how things are in our mm. country, the jobs. I can't just say I'm a qualified teacher sitting mm. down. You must do something to put food on the table. Yes, you don't have to go and steal around the shops and everything, mm. you understand. So you inspire us and you go, Okay, I mean through this uh, poetry or being an author, let me try it. And then indeed I tried and it is working for me because <laughs> I'm saying that I'm beautiful today because of poetry yeah. and being an author. Because I write books, I publish and sell to people. Mm-hmm. Doing praise poetry, I do get gigs mm-hmm. where I charge money to put on the table. So my mother, she, she's, she's my mentor. I don't want to lie to you. And for you? And Mina and Zangin Gavana mentor. Kambe car and Zoramina, not to come eleven lava van, so Sotelaco, Gofana and Wajiga, Nevin Languta, okay, Aga looks Tani look on Lacus, some little so perform and some band perform a perform. Fanny Langtaban Lava look on Langta TV, Dotay and Angata inspire Reka, and then Gobana Tatana Musa Baloi, Lavanga winner a ten year 
anniversary ya poetry e ba inspire na bona bona nga tabola gore e mentor ya mina loko staka ku tsala gore ba ba nhlohlotela ku leso swi andla ku sasekini na ba ni bofana na botatana tatana bona ni bila ba lecture IUL ba nhlohlotela swinene ku ai langutana mtira ya wena iso sekini so ni go bula ku ebanda ba landelela ku mkondo ya bona how important is it to have a presence as a performer on social media uh, like you see social media what I'm doing it's not just an ordinary thing but my family was one through social media and then like I make sure as a poet since I'm watching the poet my family was one I'm watching the poet from Yukumbala Yukumbala every day o poster something so not relevant na leso so endla ku ka social media because you go kwata kana ku ma the audience a lot of people ba hitiba through social medias yeah like when i talk una wa jika nga ngudi but lokho ngena ka from google twitter all social media platforms once you go jika the poet and i think all my profile pictures i'm wearing my regalia yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for you mina it social media ina nkoka ekupa na yona yini endle ku nitiveka abanwini loko aku nga ri social media and tsembi ku anta banki ntiveka ka karo se se kusukela lembeleri nga hela hi swona swingandla ku nitiveka swinene loko ni sungule ni posta e video ya mina ka tiktok ni kare ni tiphata ku himina mani ni huma ku yini se so se so and then vanhu vai rhandza swinene evi swi va swi hlohlotela ku social media le ina nkoka vanwan bani bani text ku hela ku ku book a photo wedding nga ku kuma ku hela nga emveni swi wana ku okay mali ya ngena loko ni social media so social media ina nkoka swinene ka leswi swi endla ku and as for you um thank you you have recently your book has been adopted by the um uh, government mm. recently and how did that make you feel oh hey jehovah <laughs> and on your birthday <laughs> man in march Imagine. how did that make you feel ko planti so eh emati mo kamene because i remember my book was adopted by Gauteng Department of Education for mm -hmm. secondary levels mm -hmm. on the same month on the 30th of March it's my birthday ne? Yeah. I was representing South Africa in Botswana mm -hmm. and I got position too doing poetry in Shitonga just imagine with African countries yeah Zimbabwe but I took position too for South Africa mm -hmm. so so mm -hmm. and I was forget to call that book ya poetry gonzara to me one day ngati kuma kai hlaiwa a schooleni but come in it's a blessing nobula kore ne kensa shikwembu ku ba book ya mina ye ya hlawure a Gauteng Department of Education ba i recommend for secondary levels nobula kore he ngwa so sterela ku lulama shikwembu shin endle hi tintswalo because a lot of people they submitted their books but mine so yeah but selected yes you can say shikwembu yi sona ku amen and how important is it for children who are watching this and who are going to watch this in the future mm. to know their mother tongue, their languages, and to be proud of them? Uh, I, uh, what I can say, the young ones, but where they come from, they must know mm -hmm. their roots. Because mm. if you can check, I choose to, 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 to embrace my culture. I don't know where mm -hmm. we come from. Like, not the way, but I go social media. We wrote those, you see, those uh, social media languages. But about deep, deep, we can move to a guy by a guy. The move into a guy, we can guy. You understand? Yeah. So, me, I'm trying by all means, Corey. Anta bula ka la bangama guy. Know your roots. Know where you come from. Aba ringe du kusha. A lot of people who don't read books anymore. You understand? Yeah. Ina idunze kala back in the days, 2007. During my matric, I don't say the locusts, the frogs, and everything. Yeah. But <laughs> it was the first time. But as soon as Anta Bulo Kuruban, my family was Tiba Timin to Tavona, they must know who I know who are you, Kashi Kashi, know where you come from. Ngari Kinamupid, Utsakai, it's a story. Kinasa, it's a Kai Kutsa Timbisa. Well, when I know, know where you come from. Utsibori, Parking, if Umupid, but Sakaiba Pedi. 
ke eng di lotsa mapedi e ene sa kudwa sa ba we see now we celebrating heritage and bangwan aba fa stibu kore ke eng di jotsa tsa tsa culture tsa bona ke eng bangwan bana aba fa stibu kore sa kudwa sa ba tsonga sa ndabuko e yini so swi le swa hefanele hi switiba so hina le lo ke ntsala ti book so e ko ntsala ko hlohetela gore na bana la ba ntsongo aba hlai ti book le ti aba ko ta ku kuma ririmi le ri nga fuwa because le swi swi tsala what we write on our books a hi ti language le ti ba la ba in daily basis because we use deep stronger bona yes and for you a mina sina ngoka ku va munhu a te va rimi ra yena endlela le nga kombisa xikombiso hi mina a ntsala hi english tani lo kon burin ku poem ya mina yo tsungura a iri alone in the darkness kambe ntsama hansi nu ku ha e mina uri ni thelela le kaya no huma kona hi tsitsa ni sungula ku tsala hi hi songa ni kuma kuna swona swenda hi swi famba ka swa flow and then kota ku ku shumesa kahle tani loko ni endla hi second language ku rimi ramana i rimi ramana leri nga lo ri mama se swi na ngoka endlela le ku va munhu a a kota ku endla swi hi rimi ra yena and what is your message to to people who are celebrating heritage month and welcoming heritage month okay you message you mean ka 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 the whole country or you know celebrate ka our heritage we ti yanzaka ka hle ka hle heritage month ne ninga pula gore i celebrate ni ngweti le yiwane hi khare hi tiba ku hina ba mani ya kwini ani pula gore fanele tekela ti shaka timbe a a a a eti bakanyala a tlhelo hi nkweno hi bangwe mara ti tiba ku hi wena man wa ka wa le ku hi ka hle ka hle nga tiko mo la hlekini nga swi tiba ku hambi mo bedini mo tsonga amen like yeah. indian you understand ufanele u titiba kuri hi wena mani tifa ti mintsu ta wena e tle uba proud hi sona mina as a poet you kuni try all 11 official languages ni celebrate hi nkwaso i can wear sipedi i can wear venda i can wear tswana the bele tswasa you understand so e ku kombisa kuri ani ti chavi e ku komba kuri yes ni mtsonga i'm proud of my culture to combine the car shaka man those color blocking yeah funny to go in the go cow farm but after that in so pito yeah and for you i can be anything um what is your message or, or motivation to people who are celebrating it uh not youth yeah, month heritage. but heritage month mina eh hungura mina eko a hi tiphinene ingweti le hinkweni tsakini and the engatekelani a hansi loko u tlanga kuna muntla antirwen u vangena hi tsonga mbala hi tsonga loko la ku mbala i spedi mbala i spedi mbala i ishumi antsa yenwe nenwe ya african kumbe ya ya africa ya africa ka hlehle hi mbala kuna south africa mbala i titwa i ri munhu ungazi u tinyatsa ku yo kambe ni mbala hi tsonga hi tsonga hi tekeri nhlokweni hinkweni hi vangwe hinkweni hi vangwe na mina loko bona bona ka social media ni mbala hi spedi kumbe ni mbala hi swinwani mm swi tiveni ku e africa heritage ya yina it's our pride yeah. in life uka ku kona and now coming to your challenges as artists as creatives what have been your challenges can you at least name three each <laughs> or, or two each <laughs> okay <laughs> okay my challenge is na uh, when i started this mm-hmm. people used to say you want to be like you. you see like they started they started comparing you with someone yeah. you understand and then uh, i don't answer everything on social media mm-hmm. they will even try to post you on social media or maybe they will take the person who is doing what what you doing mm-hmm. when us am good and just man man go by go we all artists yeah. different genre mm-hmm. and then hi nkwenu hi nkwe ti nyikwe hi shikwembu nwana nwana u ta hi tirisa ku ya hi le swi shikwembu xi nga swivekisa xi sona we were both poets but we le ku ya stage in and as you said different but yeah. we all doing poetry mm. but different style you understand yeah. mm. so yeah it is ni nga hlangana ngopuna sona nakuba abantu ba yitsi like when they invite you for a gig mm-hmm. when you charge them they will say yo too mm. expensive Hi. just imagine mm. i used to tell people that ni ka rele ku tanta phatela boswa na cabbage ka tshela ku do performer ku dzai pap ni cabbage you understand mm. they must know that this is my job yeah yeah Once I send you an invoice just read the invoice and then if if you write gaga if you rush up you know pay the man I will come and perform ngari ah wa dura no andure yeah nile ku tirene yeah yeah and that have been your challenges 
eya challenge le nka bana yona ile anga imeshina ya ku loku charge ban ba ku wadura itibonela ehla ti twa ri celebrity yes ba me future celeb or i now a celeb yes yes so e challenge ngwa le hlangana ku na yona ya ku bana ba la ku mesa mali loku ba charge ba la tsama ba ri hansi xinwane le swa nga swivula swa ku usama ku endla man 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 e wena u ti compare na man man kumbe u u endla man man e challenge ngwa le nga bana yo yinwa challenge e ku loko u khu tlakuka bano loko so u khu hanya personal life ya wena beside life ya le stage ni o ya ba compare life lian ka se wena so ka se so fane nga ti pheni nga hanya life ya wena because wona ba ku ba ku judge hi ndlela yinwana e ti challenge le ti ba ku na to na tetho and what have been your successes yo you see going to rep- like representing south africa in botswana yeah. is my success yes, and then my for my book being selected by gauten department of education is a success And I think I've traveled about six provinces. Mm. Yeah. Ah, it's my success. Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, being on national TV, national radios, and yeah. then the newspapers, mm. it's also a success to me. Yeah. You see, I started this journey in 2020. Mm. It's 2023. And I wrote about nine books. Mm. Yeah. And the one book is outside, overseas mm. England. Chesa it was launched on the 30th of March it was my birthday mm. <laughs> you understand so yeah. it's a success to me mm. i don't yeah. wanna lie mm. and what Ah mena success le ne nga bana yona e ku ba nkare ne future ra ka the newspaper to hambana hambana e ku ba ne tsa le poem e ka re se celebrate 100 ya Mandela and then buku le ya iba ya be ko a national library of south africa it's my <laughs> it's one of the success and another thing le se nga shibula ku e ku ba na today this is a huge 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 opportunity for me yeah. for her for our profiles yeah. so it's a success So na ku ba ni re a university studying ku ba career me na itakula it's a success so ile se nga subula ku ku success le nga ka yona and as i am writing a book um ya novel she's inspiring me like lo kon kanung ta ka ba la so it's part of my success one day i want shared a a stage na mundwe ani na na ani inspire ku and then um ku ba i was booked to come a wedding kurentanta perform a wedding mm-hmm. and it happened that i shared a stage with kk mlaudzi yeah. it was also a success <laughs> it was yes it was a success <laughs> and <laughs> other um, artists ibo mm-hmm. heni si yes so it's a success kamina it's a success <laughs> the opportunity ngwani kulungo ya matimba yeah 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 so now speaking about your successes and challenges there's someone in your villages there's someone outside of the country watching this someone in Gauteng like me was like eh nami i want to also be the way they are mm. you know our dreams might not all be the same yes. but i also want to reach that pinnacle of success mm. what is your um piece of advice to them who want to be like you where you are now okay what i can say ne if you want to be it's not maybe it can be me or someone else mm-hmm. just be yourself ne mm. know your goals yeah di ba gore o tele in am saben what you called for mm-hmm. and then and then never compare yourself to others mm-hmm. we might be in the same class mm-hmm. writing yeah. same question paper mm-hmm. but remember we won't get the same marks mm-hmm. and yeah. then mm-hmm. so bana wena o sti ba gore my book is gone up to me yeah the journey of life not the potholes mm-hmm. and speed humps yeah sometimes you you find us is is us fa ba speed ya sha le hansi yeah sometimes fa nele u fa ba speed ya fast but ti ba gore u ya kwini and all in all know that you will get where you going u ta fika la u nga kongoma kona u nga faila na muntla and you fail tomorrow but i'm telling you ngwana mani you can fail four times man one day it's one day u ta u khu hlayela ri shaka eh eh ba ri ni bumboni gore Some years back, I have tried and failed, mm-hmm. but never give up. Mm. Yeah. And what would your advice be? Me na advice ya me na eku nyikole iwa munuwa na mwan kashaka shi nyikole angana yon nyikoish kuimbo. 
So Shangoka, Loko Ulap the Renzolir, cause she gum church one as one is Mish and Taku, Nebekin Mashwin. Pray, Shkumun Gombella Ume, Sala Nicoli Erba Lenu, Uter, Nicoli Tanti Salani, Shakuda at Aflin, Gombella Ume, San Nicoli, and Nicoli Arba Lin, Majiga Usumuli and Jela Yena, and then Minan Sumuli and Jela Yamina Tani Loko and Vurunuku, Ban Balco to Guana Gona perform a perform Loko, Nipos de Video Gachi Tok Ban by Ran, Majiganga Sungur Sang Sona says, Sumuli in Jela and one, Selection Zamakos Vula Eku, Asunga Fani, Asunga Fani, the Siminga Fambisa Sona. I will get from this son, Campufane, Uman Jala lay, Sunga Cotteca Gugu, Nicoyaway, you melel. Ibonaga, I'm seven in quite a legal. So Nabula Susu Camundi, Nangapulang Tin, Alabaxica, lying ago. And since now each of you have your own books and you've launched a range of books, where can we order? Where can we inquire for these books? Oh, okay. Mina for my books now. Mm-hmm. I'm still selling, selling them myself mm-hmm. because in Karunganya I tried to get at the bookshops, but mm-hmm. uh, there are rules. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's hard for me to accept. Yeah. I said I rather sell my books myself, mm-hmm. and then if Balabati book Tamina, they can get them to me. I can courier it nationwide, mm-hmm. Botswana, wherever you are. I will make sure that. My book goes up to me, reach where you are. Yeah. You understand? So, Bangati Kuma through my social media, they can follow me, all my social media platforms. Mm-hmm. It's Mwa Jika, the poet. Okay. My profile, I'm wearing this regalia. Mm-hmm. I don't know if is it good if I can give them my contact details. Yeah, but please, for business, please, do, please, do, please <laughs> And then do. they can call me or WhatsApp me on 065 or 063 8542 812. Eight one two. That's my cell phone or WhatsApp. We only talk business. If you come with your <laughs> other business, <laughs> I, I don't take time to cut you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And for you? Me not any lokona aruk falen buke a novel. Mara bukulia nga balabla yonan gete i i be ya ya kumeka National Library of South Africa. You go na lokumuna laku bona matselele ame na angai bona kwa la se. Lesson at us, Bulaka Carosses, Ukun Luxalenka, a book, a novel, and I also have a book at the short stories, Linga Lutama, a book at the poem Linga Lutama, Nangutana, and at the sponsor, Labati sponsor, Lamangatan Punaku publisher the book Tamina, because financially it's hard. So, Lokobala Kun Funa, Bangan Kumaka, Facebook page, Jamina, Langtan Ward Kotso, TikTok, Langtan Ward Kotso, Kasi, eh, Karen Tengon, Kumaka, 079 056 I am feeling blessed. <laughs> I, I've held back a lot of tears. And just seeing you guys represent your culture, your tradition, and how proudly you speak about your guys' tradition, I'm like, yeah, Nam in Tonga. Okay, Nam in Tonga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you're here representing. And you guys have shown us not only how important it is to retain culture, mm. but also to be of it and let it be a part of your being, your body, your expression Mm -hmm. and expressing South Africa in its colorfulness, in its color looking. So thank you guys for your time Mm. and I can't wait for your guys' performance and I hope the guys at home will be tuning in for their performances. And lastly but not least, guys, go out there. Do not only rise for yourself, but know when you rise, you rise for your culture. Mm -hmm. You rise for your heritage that is restored in you, you know. Mm -hmm. We learn it from Abogogo, Abonkul, you know, our languages. And just sitting with them and being able to have that conversation and engaging them with questions that you might have about your culture is important. So they're not only boring, they are knowledgeable people. You'll Mm -hmm. grow wise, guys. (laughs) You'll definitely grow wise. And again, thank you for watching our show. Until next time, I'm your host, Dimpo Mkhale. Peace. 